This is my first video of the mini mill. Um, this uh, machine is constructed of a base made of 40 series uh, 8020 material, extruded material. And I use that for the Z column plus the Y bed. And then course X is supported underneath here. Um, these are uh, pillow block bearings made from uh, uh, iron, uh, centered iron from Triangle Manufacturing Company. Um, riding on round rails. These uh, hand wheels are from Shearline. They're uh, pretty neat. Uh, there's one on each axis. Um, the spindle motor I'm using is a Black & Decker rotary tool I got from Amazon.com. It's a three-speed. It's got a one-eighth inch collet. accepts all Dremel one-eighth inch tools. Um, the three motors uh, that I have on it right now, I'll probably take the motors off my router to uh, run this machine. Um, I've got them. My software is Mach 3 for this machine, the same as my router. So uh, since I've got it all calibrated for quarter 20 screws right now, these are uh, rolled thread screws. Um, all I have to do then is just change my limits uh, for my envelope size. I do have these pieces sort of crudely made. Uh, they will encircle the router here and I'll stick a bolt through this vertical piece here to where I get more support. Actually it's not bad right now. Uh, it's fairly stable. Uh, I don't suppose with the one inch, one eighth inch tool that you'll have much uh, feed rate uh, to worry about uh, loading, uh, lateral loading on the tool itself. So I'll probably. Uh, uh, just try it with these tie wraps first and this little uh, it has a neat little uh, lock here you have to push this up and then you can uh, lock the uh, spindle to uh, do a one hand uh, change of the of the tool And it's got to be in that position, I think, before the motor will come on. So that, that works pretty neat. Locks the... Uh, and then the collet itself is just... Uh, you don't need a wrench for it. It's just a knurled type nut on that. And what I did do, I, I ground this down. This is a plastic nut underneath here. And I ground it down to uh, to where I could use that aluminum plate there to support. Uh, I wanted to get it as close to the spindle nose as possible to support for axial loading. Lateral loading, I'm sorry. Lateral loading on that tool. And uh, now the Y-axis motor is hidden right here be between the rails. Pretty neat that it uh, uh, came out like that. <laughs> uh, these are 
on uh, X and Y I have 270 out inch motors currently. This is a 425 ounce inch on Z. And notice the difference in size between this motor and the NEMA 17 motors on my uh, RepRap printer, which is brand new. I'm, I'm going to make another video of this. Uh, I've got it working now. Uh, I'll not say that much about it right now. You can watch the video. It'll, uh, it'll be on YouTube for very soon. But uh, this one, uh, actually, uh, I don't have much more to say about it except that uh, I've got about five and a half inches here of feed on Z axis. I've got uh, four inches on Y and six and a half inches on X. And it's fashioned after a Bridgeport Series 1 mill. Uh, this same axis movements and everything it's just a lot smaller and I've had second thoughts also about this gap between my rails here on my T slots uh, I'll probably redrill these and, and close them up to keep chips from getting in here and down on my uh, Y axis screw well actually the X axis screw right here but also they can fall down to the Y axis screw uh, yep, um, that's about all for this video. Um, this machine is very heavy. It's, uh, it's actually, uh, more weight than my router. Uh, my router has a, uh, envelope of 12 by 12 by, um, three or four inches I think on on Z but twelve by twelve on X and Y. Um, but um, I thought I'd make this quick video of this one just to uh, uh, tell a little bit more about it. Uh, I'm using the Love Joy uh, motor couplings. They seem to work really nice. Uh, there's no problem. I've not found any problem whatsoever with backlash. I've checked these machines for backlash. I've, I've used these on my router as well. And I've not had any trouble with them. Although people do like these spring couplings like here. And these work really well too. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, I think I will close the gap up on this. Uh, I'll mention it again in my next video about this mini mill. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.